Everyone thinks time travel is impossible, but I literally traveled in the future this morning and so did you. No, seriously, right now you travel 0.0000001 seconds to the future every second. Your head, guys, say hi to Asta from high school, is literally aging faster than your feet because gravity slows time. The stronger the gravity, the slower the time is. Your feet are closer to the Earth's center, so they experience a stronger gravitational force. And this isn't theory, scientists have measured it with atomic clocks. But here's where it gets insane. GPS satellites orbit 12,000 miles above us, where the gravity is significantly weaker. Time moves faster out there, about 38 microseconds per day. If you didn't account for the time difference, your GPS would be off by 6 miles every day. Scientists literally have to slow down the satellite clocks to match Earth's time. And airplanes? They're time machines. Guess what? You come back younger than the people on the ground. When you fly, you're moving fast and you're higher up where the gravity is weaker. Both effects make time move faster for you. After a long flight, you've aged 40 nanoseconds less than the people on the ground. This is Einstein's relativity in action. Time isn't fixed, flexible. You're not just moving through space, you're surfing through the space time. Gravity bends, speed stretches it. That's time travel, baby. So yeah, travel is real. You're doing it right now. Time travel into the future? Completely real. Einstein's time dilation proves it. We're all doing it right now, just very slowly. But here's the crazy part. If you could travel at 99.9% .9 of the speed of light, for what feels like one year for you, you'd come back and find 22 years have passed away. You just jumped 21 years into the future. The real question isn't whether time travel is possible. It's how fast are you willing to go? Follow for more physics that breaks your brain.